Hey guys, what's up, and welcome back to the Japanese Spiny Lobster Tutorial, part three. In part one, we did, well, shaped the tail and the legs. And now we are going to shape the sort of head, not really head, but sort of. Um, on the pre pattern, you can see we have collapsed. Well, what we're working on is the creases right here. If you drew a line right like this, that is what we have not collapsed. We have shaped everything in here. We just have these creases there. So I can show you we have this here where these creases are. We're gonna shape those and then continue on to get these long things and then we're gonna work on this. And then in the last part, we're just gonna do some details. So, let's get started. Okay, so I have some new materials. So what I'm going to be using today is some of these sort of twisty tie things so that you can bend them and just bend to keep the model in place. And they're really useful for things like that. So I have two big ones, two smaller ones, and a really small one. Well, these are more medium size. So we're going to use those. Those will more come in handy for the details, part four, but I'm probably still gonna use a couple of those for this part. So, as you can see, it might look a little different, but as in the last part, I showed you this side of the legs, how it was completely shaped, and then I bent into shape this sort of feeler thing. Now, this part, we're gonna work on these long things, and I did the same thing on the other side right here. I have to orient the legs a little better, but I have this also. So we're gonna put that under here. Those like that. And you can really start to see the Japanese spiny lobster take place. This is gonna curve backwards like this. And the same thing with this. So this is the main shape of our spiny lobster. So you can really see the size well. So yeah. All right, now I'm gonna start pouring the glue. So I'm gonna take, try to find the one that I already opened. We bought some more glue. Which one is it? I'm trying to find. I think it's this one. So yeah, it's probably this one. All right, so I have my festive nutcracker. Thing. We're just gonna pour a little bit of glue there. there. Like that. And now I have to go get my napkin to wipe it off. All right, so I'm gonna sit down. All right. So now I'm gonna open my bag of clothespins right here. Move some things out of the way. I'm gonna put these right here. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna sit down. All right. So now I'm gonna open my bag of clothes pins right here. Move some things out of the way. I'm gonna put these right here. Okay. So here's a camera angle. What, what did I just say? Play, play that on replay. So here's a camera angle. I was supposed to say.
better camera angle or something like that. I can't even remember what I was gonna say. So, we're gonna start shaping now. All right, so, I'm actually gonna start from underneath. And most of these two flaps right here, I'm going to just put glue in them and make them thin. I've already done this side off camera, mostly. on there to hold that in place and use my napkin to get it. So one of them is in place. You can hold it a little off to the side like that. So now we're gonna do the other side. Now I'm gonna start to bridge the gap in between, oh no, never mind. Not yet. Just get glue in all of the parts. this and then I'm gonna get another clip just move this quick and then put it right here to hold them together so we have three clips right there. 
like this. Now we're gonna work right here. And just get these creases in place. So we should have something like this. And now we're going to get these creases in there. Put a little nub. So I'm gonna undo these clips. And you can really see how this is starting to collapse. But now we're going to open this up right there and get in here. Then these flaps in here. Same thing on the other side. So now we have this, and what's happening is this isn't stretching far enough, right here. It is on this side, but not on this side. So I'm going to have to pull it out. Take a clip, take this and just press that down right now. And just let it sit for a couple seconds, pushing it together like that. And I'm gonna get some small clothes pins and pull this together like that. So now this part is coming together. That.
to like this. Now we can really see this start to come along. Like that. Looks a lot neater. Now we're going to get this next part. So hold on, this is not stretched quite right. There we go. So now what we're going to do is right in there, we have some creases to make. So, well, things to pull out. So I'm gonna unclip these for now. Don't worry, we'll put them back on. And then we're just gonna get the glue and these creases in there. This for me was definitely the hardest part to collapse. Just this area here. Same thing on this side. Now before we press this all together, what I'm gonna do is get these creases right in here and the same thing on the other side so that we can reach them. Because they get very hard to reach. So now we have that, and we're going to open this up. Look, I'm not gonna press it all together yet because we have to do the same thing on this side. Open this up. Now we have creases in here.
Now just press this together. this together okay, so now we're going to put on we'll get this fixed here So it should look like this. Now what you can do is you can take this little nub we just glued right in there, get a tiny bit of glue, just insert it right here, and fold that over. Then you can go in on the inside this all together. Okay, so now we have this. And we're not going to work on this part yet up here. Because all we really have to do for that is, well, I didn't insert blue on this side. One moment. Well, that much. So fold this up like that, and you can glue this part down like this. Fold it down. Or you can fold it this way. I think it's supposed to go this way and increase pattern. Hold on, let me check right. that. So yeah, on the crease pattern, it's supposed to go up. So we had it right. Like that. Then fold this part down. And then it should all come like this. Squash down. So it should look like that and this should squash. So it should look like this. It should come down. And you should have this right here. I'm gonna clean out some of this dry glue here. So, I'm just trying to get this off. So 
So, now we have this. In this bottom part here, we're sliding this to get that. But you can see how it squashes together. So I'm gonna get a clip, go straight down like that. Hold this part in place. And now we're going to work on this right here. This long sort of appendage. So we're gonna start work on that now. So first we're going to glue, I'm gonna start with this side. Because we have this part glued to like here. So I'm gonna start with this side and get, well actually I'm gonna start with this side and we're gonna open this up and just insert glue everywhere. So I'm gonna start that. I'm gonna just start on one side and go to the other. And this is long. It's a very long process. I'm going to do this side and show you, but I'm not going to do show you the other side because this video is gonna be way too long if we do that. All right, so now we have this part completely over and we're gonna work right here. So now just keep going along here. Now 
now we have this. I just knocked that over. Replay, please. Now this part is mostly done. Right here. Now we're gonna wrap this around. So put glue right here. Now just get in here. But we don't want to get all of it because then it will be harder to shape the sort of barnacles up there. Something like that. Now we have these creases here.
so now this should be mostly loaded up. You can press this together. And this isn't gonna fit perfectly because we have to do the sort of twist. Which goes like that. So it won't fit perfectly, but it'll be pretty close. And then, so the twist, I'm gonna show you now. Goes like this. I'm not doing the entire thing. I'm getting it close, but it, the layers, they get very thick. So I'm not doing the whole thing, but most of it. So what happens is right here, this sort of go, pivots like that, while this folds up. And there's a, if you look here, there's a valley fold. You go like that, pivot, and go up like this. And then just continue those creases all the way through. But I'm just gonna have my creases stop about right there. So it should be like that. And then I'm gonna do that in a little more detail in a little bit, but I have to finish shaping this part first. So, this side. Well, I still have to do the other side. This comes down. I'm only doing this part right here. I'm leaving the this area pretty much, not with that many that will glue near it. All right, so now we should have this, that, and this should go pretty well, just like that. Now we're going to get the other side right here with not as many creases on it. So we're gonna start by opening this up, and getting glue on the inside here. Just under there. So now we're going to follow this crease all the way down.
and then the second one, follow it all the way down. And there should be the last one right here. So there is this. Like that. I'm gonna add a little bit more blue because I'm running out. But you can see that this is a lot thinner. But we can fold it in half. And it should go down to that point, yeah. And then we'll have something like that. That we can curve backwards right here. So it'll look like this. So, now we have to get these creases in here. But first, I'm going to get more... So now we have this. And I'm gonna start by just getting this right here. Right here, these creases. So now you can start to get this swivel in place, like this. And then get this in place.
So now we just get these glass creases, well, slots in here. And this part is done. So now we have this fully done. And in the details, I'm going to cover more of these parts. But what we have left to do for this part is we're just gonna get some of these creases up in here. I'm not gonna do this side, but I'm gonna do this side mostly just because we've done the thing on this side. But first, well, I don't know. I'm gonna see how much more time we have. And then we will start shaping this and see what else there is to do. So all we have time for today is we're gonna shape this and then maybe some in here. So, oh yeah, I think we can get some in here. So that's the plan. So we're gonna start shaping these sort of barnacles. So what we're going to do is we're gonna take this and pull this like that. Like this. And then we're going to collapse it. But this one is tricky because it's not really a place to collapse it. So what we're gonna do, oh yes, is it's going to go like this and then we're going to press that little point in there over so it can go like this or like that. Then we're going to split these two points in there evenly and have that squashed down. Like that. Now we're going to repeat that he well, here, here, and here. So four more times. So I'm gonna scoot this back. Try to get this in the camera view, but it's hard. Pull this open like this, like this, and then split. It's just like starting to shape our agent scales. You can see it looks like that. Now we're gonna do the same thing, but opposite on the other side. So pull this out. This way and this way. Then now open this up. All right, so now I have all four of these collapsed like that. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to open up this side right here. So it looks like that.
and then I'm going to get the side to sort of do the same thing, but not exactly. So, let me get this real quick. All right. So what we're doing on the side is we're gonna pull this out and then press this point over like that. Hold this down so we have this little thing right here. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the other ones. So, just continue, pull out this. Press the point up. So now you should have something like that. And I'm gonna clip this part closed because it keeps coming open. So now we should have this, and we're gonna do the same thing on this side, so. Open this up. We'll make a tiny little fold like that. Press this back together. And then just keep doing that for all of the other ones. And you see we have that layer right here. There's another layer on this side, so you can do it again. And then do exactly what we did right here, right here. All right, so this right here I've curved, sort of just using some crimps and making what I did was when I folded it in half I turned it over and folded both sides to the center and just sort of rounded it a bit then I made these crimps and folded this around so now what I'm going to do at the end of the tutorial is I'm just going to take twisty tie or something put it right here so that it dries like this but first, I'm gonna show you how to shape these barnacles. So, you're just gonna start folding these down. All the little corners that are up. And making it look random. Like this. So just all these little corners, just fold them down. And the same on these edges.
sure that it looks like random barnacles. And do the same thing here. So you should fold up three on each row, and there are four rows, so there should be 12. And then this last row right here is sort of a bonus row. You don't have to do this, but I just am going to have this here, like that. So now it really looks like most barnacles. And you want them sticking straight up and down. Like that. And there are even a couple extra points you can try to find to boost those up. And then when you round it, it looks like there are barnacles. So, now you can do the same thing for this side. Just fold this up, up, where to swivel the edges. And your main effect that you want to go for is just have it feel rough and look like random barnacles. For whatever these spiny things are. You really don't want Also what you can do, once you have these barnacles, is you can do another swivel fold right here, which I'm going to attempt to do. It's not too difficult, just pull the corner out. Use it to make another barnacle. Do the same on this side. Even though they're orderly, you can try to make them look random. And just sort of curve this here when you're done so that it looks like barnacles. And yeah, I'm just gonna fiddle with that. And that actually ends the head part because we still have a few things we're gonna do in the head, but we're gonna save those for next part in the details, which might be a little bit of a longer part. So, see you in the next tutorial when I make that. I'm gonna make it these tutorials probably back to back. So thank you so much for watching. And what we can do is we can check off that we have done the head. So now just by the time this is released, you can just go and click on part four if you want, or you can, but first I would, you have to finish this and do the same thing on the other side. And you can try to press this up to get that in place so that it can dry like that. So thank you so much for watching and see you in the next tutorial. Ba-da-ba-ba, ba-da-ba-ba, ba-da-ba-ba. Ba